Hey, what up guys? Matt here. I thought I'd go over some guitar questions I get often on uh, vacation down here at North Myrtle Beach. Uh, man, the weather has been gorgeous. Having a great time with uh, family and stuff. So, uh, I thought I'd come out here to the porch while my boy, my wife put my boy to sleep. So, I said, now I'll do a little question and answer. Uh, the first question I probably get asked most often is, what is a good guitar for beginners? And I always write back, I'm not really brand prayer. I, I of course love Taylor guitars. The one you play, I play a lot is a Taylor GS Mini. This is the mahogany version. It's kind of small, so the frets are close. Um, it's got a little sound. It was, uh, I think it was like 500 bucks, uh, which is pretty expensive, especially if you're a beginner. Um, great travel case, all that stuff. So, but I say you just want to make sure you play the guitar before you buy it. Don't ever buy a guitar out of a box or um, something that you haven't had a chance to sit down, hold, get a feel of the thickness, see the bridges and how, how the distance from the frets and all that stuff. Um, the battery got short there. Um, so just make sure whatever guitar you buy, you play it first. There's a lot of good brands out there. Each guitar is different. So I just play it first. And, um, got a hat head. <laughs> um, so next question people always ask is, what is the strumming pattern? Probably 50 to 75 to 100 times a day in different songs of all the videos I've had posted. People will say, what's the strumming pattern? And I usually type back, type in YouTube search bar, Matt McCoy strumming. If you've seen all my videos, I usually just go over that strumming is about timing because when you start learning a pattern, down, down, up, down, up, switch, down, up, down, up, switch, down, up, down, up, it throws your timing off instead of one, two, three, four. Especially when you're playing a rhythm guitar, um, it's more about just the timing of the chords than an actual pattern of up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, all that. That'll just throw you off. So, uh, obviously, type of map for strumming. People ask me all the time, have you taught this song? And I, I tell them all the time, type in, go to the YouTube and type in the song, Country Song Teacher. So, um, Friends Low Places, Country Song Teacher. Travis Trick, Country Song Teacher, whatever. And you can see, obviously, or go to countrysongteacher.com under the playlist. I'm a little behind on that, but I have the songs I'm talking um, People ask me often, what does a capo do? This little device here. This simply changes the key to a song. If you're a beginner, especially, you want to get you one of these. Because um, you can play, and I'll combine these questions. People ask me all the time, what's a great song? Beginners to learn on. I can sound like Wagon Wheel. Rock me, mama, like Wagon Wheel. Rock me, mama, in the way you feel. Hey, hey, because, because you go G, D, E minor, C, two beats each, then G, D, C for four. I could rip your arms off. I used to do a lot of wakeboarding and stuff. Um, I had a time to let me try that. That looks awesome. They'll do these big, big high jumps. Take off. I don't know what that has to do with guitar, but if you know my lessons, I'll get caught off on a tangent. That's for sure. I gotta learn that anyway. Um, so Wagon Wheel is a great song to learn on. The capo, like I said, it changes the key of the song. Same chords. So on that wagon wheel song, rock me, mama, like a wind and a rain, rock me, mama, like a sound and a tree. As to G, D, E minor, C, you can put this anywhere on one of these frets.
see how it raised that key to song. So you can uh, play, especially if you're in a band or singing and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of people ask me too about they struggle singing and playing guitar at the same time. Type in Matt McCoy's Sing and Play on my other channel, Acoustic Selection. Uh, I taught a video on that, a couple of them actually. Uh, let's see, what are some other questions I get asked often? Uh, do you play in a band? No. Uh, I've actually never ever played live in front of a group, so I've never plugged the microphone up. Well, I'll take it back. I have a couple times. A couple times at church, I've kind of played on the side where you can't see me while someone else is singing a special or something. But uh, I've never, uh, never just played and sang in church or anything like that. So, uh, still my bucket list, right? Let's see what else. Uh, people ask me, how did you get started doing this? I was doing a job with direct mail. You know what? My life has no influence. I need to have a bigger impact. My parents have raised me well. I need to have a bigger impact on people's lives. And I looked over and saw the guitar and I thought, you know, I don't know a lot about guitar, but I did take six lessons. Let me teach those six lessons and just see what I think. I got positive feedback from it. So then I did seventh, eighth. I would learn something to teach it, learn something to teach it. Start teaching songs, all that stuff too. So that's kind of how I got started. People say they, they want to do something similar to this, start a YouTube channel. Um, I tell people, make sure you're doing something you enjoy because especially at first, you're not going to get paid for it. Now I get paid for Google, uh, by Google for the ads and all the videos, that kind of thing. Um, but you better do something you enjoy because for a while, you're going to be just talking to your camera and nobody's going to be watching. Um, if you don't do something like a music channel, it's even hard to find. So, if you do personal training or some craft or art or whatever, you know, it's going to be harder to tag those kind of videos. Whereas, if I type in, if I teach Florida Georgia Line Cruise, a lot of people look for that song and my video pop up. You see what I mean? So, like, that definitely helps if you're teaching music or something people are looking for. People ask me often, how do you do all that you do as far as I have time? I'm uh, very blessed that I've, I run two companies. I run a shingle company and a swimming pool company. The guys that work with me in both of those are great. So I can trust them so much that it enabled me to do other things. So. Hey, buddy. I'm doing a video. Come say hi. Come say hi. Now he's in bed. Tintin's putting him to sleep. You know that? Subscribe if you haven't. Have a great day. Hope it's helping. God bless you.